Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to today's video which is, well, it's it's going to be a chatty one and I hope that you're going to be with me and you're going to listen to me and you're going to help me, help me please, help me. I don't wear red lipstick very often, if at all. Christmas maybe, Valentine's possibly. But nine times out of ten, I'll choose to wear a different colour anyway at those times of year. So please, someone explain to me why I have this many red lip products. Why? Why? Why do I own all of these? Like, let me count them for you. So, in lipsticks, I have one. Six red lipsticks. Six red lipsticks. Uh... One red lippy stick, um, one, two, two liquid lipsticks, two lip glosses, and two samples. All red. All red. What? Why? Why? Why are we doing this? So let's go. Let's go through them. Let's go through them. And uh, I'll explain where each one came from, because uh, maybe that might help um, to show you how I accumulated all of these, despite not being a red lipstick wearer. So let's start off with the one that is the oldest, the first one I ever owned. And it is, of course, Max Ruby Woo. This was given to me by my daughter for Mother's Day. When I first started getting into makeup, I'd seen this colour. I really loved the name Ruby Woo, which is not the reason to buy a lipstick. Um, there it is. There's Ruby Woo. She is a retro matte. She's very dry, but she is beautiful. She's a blue toned red. And if I'm honest, a blue toned red is the type of red I would wear if I was to wear one. I have this much left in there. And I got this product in 2016. 2017 possibly so that goes to show you it's still practically brand new um so that was the first one it has sentimental value for me because my daughter bought it for me for mother's day and it was my first ever mac lipstick so it has sentimental value so there we go there's that one uh the next two are from beauty bay um, these both came in uh, Mystery Beauty Bay boxes um, separately. I got, I, I've had a couple of Mystery Beauty Bay boxes um, and I got both of these in one each. Um, my favourite one is Lover. So this is again another blue toned red. Like that much. And this one is probably my favorite red so there it is there i actually prefer the color of this one to ruby woo um i actually prefer lover over ruby woo in color um because it's darker it's much more um vampy it's much more much darker it suits my dark soul um so that is my favorite one uh then the other one is Sauce, and I got this one after I'd got Lover, and I thought, oh, not another red one. This one is a much brighter red. It's probably one of the brighter reds I have. Um, this is so not my kind of red. It's too bright for me. Um, yeah, this is, this is the kind of red I would steer away from. I don't think I would wear this one if at all. I think the only time I've ever used it is to swatch it. Um, then I have oh, this one. This one has been in my Dungeons and Dragons teeth. My Dungeons and Dragons project pan for two months I've, and it's supposed to be in for 20 uses. I've used it zero times. This one I got in a uh, Christmas gift from my husband. Um, it came in a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous makeup bag with a couple of other makeup items. I've used everything else in that bag. I've not finished everything that came in that bag, but I've definitely used everything else that came in that bag. 
but I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This one is in Dorothy Red. It has gold glitter around the edges, but that doesn't really transfer once you apply it. And this one is so creamy and emollient. I'm so worried it's going to travel. I'm so worried that this one is going to go all over my teeth. I'm going to look like I've been kicked in the mouth by a horse. Um, I don't like it. And uh, this one... This one I would have no problems decluttering. But to be fair, that's what we're here for today. Um, this next one, I should not have bought this. I should not have bought any of the products from this collection. It's the Revolution Grease Collection. And I saw this, somebody on YouTube was like showing the collection. And I was like, I have to have it. And I went on a buying spree and bought quite a few products from the collection. I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have bought any of that collection. To be honest, because I only bought it because it was Greece. And I was in Greece when I was at school. That's not a reason to be buying makeup. And this is, again, another red. I've only ever swatched it. This is in the shade Rizzo. Um, again, it's another bright red. And in fact, I think this one is brighter than this one. Um, so I'm absolutely not going to buy it. Uh, not going to wear it. So why did I buy it? This is the one I bought. Yeah, this is the only one. I I actually made the choice to buy. How ridiculous is that? This is the only one I physically made a choice to put in my basket and buy. And I didn't need it. I didn't need it at all. Uh, the last one is uh, the lippy stick. Oh no, I have a mini... Uh, I'll talk about that one in a minute actually. Uh, my lippy stick from Colourpop. This one is in Fly Five. This is also in a project pan. I've barely used it. Um, now this one is more like a brick red. Um, you could also almost say it's a maroon rather than a red red. Um, so I could wear this one but I still feel like it's a red. And it's in a, it's in a project pan and I've barely used it. So, and these, I've had a couple of these go bad on me this year, and I got this with a set. This has no smell anymore, and the, the mechanism to roll it up and roll it down is broken. So, yeah, anyway, moving on to the NYX. So, I have a couple of these uh, mini NYX products. They all came in a... NYX uh, ca advent calendar that I had just in uh, Christmas just gone 2023 um, and I bought it because I wanted to try some NYX lip products and it was all lip products in this advent calendar and it came with three different reds in three different formulas so we have the lipstick we have the butter gloss and then we have the smooth whip formula so the lipstick is in the shade spicy now, if I was going to keep any of these truthfully, I should just keep a mini because that is 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 probably the most logical sense for me to keep the mini because I don't wear red lipsticks. So even this mini could last me my life. The problem with this mini is it very easily. See that? I, I just pushed it. And it went back in. Just, mm, that annoys me. The mechanism on this is so um, flimsy that you can just push on it and it'll disappear. Oh, hang on a minute. So there it is there. There's a red. So me using this, I would have to hold on to the black bit to apply it and that would just annoy the crap out of me because I would forget to do that and and then I would go to and so for that alone like I, I, I'm thinking of unhauling this then we have the smooth whip formula which I've never tried before I, I did try one of the brown ones from this um, in a shop my stash earlier this year and I really like the formula I did I really like this formula this one is in cherry cream and it's like a moussey formula. 
like a lip gloss, liquid lipstick kind of um, moussey formula, which I quite like. And it is this shade here. Um, I'm trying to turn it around. So it's that shade there. I do really like the formula on this one, and it does look like it would be really, really comfortable. It is a brighter red that I would generally go for, but part of me is thinking I could. I could keep this one um, because I feel like I could use this up not relatively quick because it's a red, um, let's face it, but the formula of that just looks so comfortable. Um, so that's that one. And then I have the Butter Gloss formula. This one is in the shade Red Velvet. Um, and I've, I I like the Butter Glosses. I do. I like the Butter Glosses. I'm a bit worried about wearing a red lip gloss because of, you know, transferring and it getting all over my teeth and stuff. This is much more of a, I would call this a pinky red rather than a red red. You can see it's much more pinker than all of these. Um, so a red lip gloss, not, not excited about that one. Uh, talking of red lip glosses, I have a MAC lip gloss. This is in the shade, uh, Optical Delusion. This is also in a project pan. See, three of these are in project pans. And do you know how many of them I've used? Zero. <laughs> uh, this one is a bit more of a glittery formula. Uh, let's do this here and it's a bit it's it's probably a more of a a maroon color than any other of the shades here so here it is here still not in the right when I'm swatching <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm swatching they're all in a row uh, but when I twist my hand uh, yeah um, so it's much more of a maroon color um, and I know that I can wear this around the house and it wouldn't be too much of a fuss. But then again, I could say that about any of these, couldn't I? Um, this is much more of a sticky formula, much more of a thicker formula. So I'm not as worried about this one transferring. I mean, yes, it'll transfer if I was to kiss my husband or anything. But I'm not so worried about it getting on my teeth and, and transferring it around my face while I'm wearing it because it is a much thicker formula so it tends to like stay where it stays um, and it's not quite as red as the other reds it's more of a magenta uh, magenta maroon sort of color which I do like a maroon I like I love a maroon lip um, a real dark vampy maroon lip definitely my thing um, so this one I'd be happy to keep then I have the Too Faced Melted Matte uh, Liquid Lip in Lady Balls. I hate the name of that, uh, but this is what it is. I bought a set of four of these uh, for my daughter for Christmas a couple of years ago. I really like the look of them, so I went back and I bought myself a set. Um, and I must admit, of all of the set, the four shades that I've bought, I've I've worn this one by choice more than the other ones. I've worn the other ones more because they were in project pans and I had to use them for the project pan. But chosen to wear them because I wanted to, I picked this one up more times than the others. So that kind of says something, um, really. This one is really nice. This, if I'm gonna wear a red lip, it's gonna be a liquid lip because A, it's gonna dry down and it's not going to transfer. It's not going to get all over my teeth. It's not going to get on my food or my cup when I'm drinking. It's not going to transfer to my husband if I give him a kiss. And this is a really beautiful red. Really, really pretty. Of all the reds that are here, this one is my favourite. So out of all of the reds that I've shown you today, this one is the one that I have chosen to wear more frequently than any of the others. Now, of course, I do also have these uh, two samples. They are both of the shade MAC Smash from the Powder Kiss formula from MAC, and I got them as a free gift. Um, I could easily like gift these to friends. That's not a problem. 
Um, so I can easily dispose of those. But let's go through all of these products. So an easy declutter is my number seven one. I think I, I'm, I'm never, never going to wear this if I have a choice. Because, um, and even when I'm forced to wear it through a project pan, I still haven't worn it. So this is going to be an easy declutter. I, I just, I can't, I can't wear that one. Um, then an easy keep is the melted Too Faced mat because as I say, this is the one that I've worn by choice more than the others. So I definitely want to keep that one. Another definite keep is my Mac Ruby Woo because of all the ones that I've chosen to wear above uh, any other lipstick, not any other lipstick, but any other red lipstick, is my Mac Ruby Woo. It's sentimental because my daughter bought it for me uh, for Mother's Day and um, it's a retro matte, so it's a very dry down formula. So again, I know it's not going to transfer when I'm wearing it. It's not going to get all over my teeth. Um, so I'll keep that one. Um, the mini NYX lipstick in um, Spicy, that um, mechanism is just going to annoy the crap out of me. So I think that's an easy transfer and it's fairly new so I can find someone to take that off my hand. Um, in regards to the other NYX products, um, the NYX Butter Gloss, I can definitely unhaul that one. The Smooth Whip one though. It's a brighter red. Uh, I, I don't know about that one yet. I don't know about that one yet. Um, the grease one in Rizzo, I can definitely unhaul that one. I should never have bought it. I should never have bought it. Buyer's regret. Um, I can unhaul that one. The Colourpop Lippy Stick. Um, it's in a project pan. But I haven't used it. I haven't used it. Um, it is the darkest one. And it's more like a brick red than a red red. But if I'm going to wear red, I want a red. And if I want a brown, then I'd wear a brown. But this is a ready brown. But if I was going to wear a red, I'd wear a red. And if I was going to wear a brown, I'd wear a brown. So... I think I'm going to unhaul this one. It's got no smell to it. The mechanism is broken on it. And I just feel like this one is going <coughs> to... <coughs> this one is going to go bad on me fairly soon. So I might as well just get rid of it now. Um, the MAC lip gloss. Do you know what? I think that of all of these lipsticks, this is the one that I could finish up relatively quickly. It's a lip gloss. So therefore, I know that in the past, I've used one of these lip glasses from MAC, this size in this collection, because this was a, from a Christmas collection. Um, and it was a pack of three, I think I got in the pack. I've already finished the other two. So this was the last one left. Um, and I just know that I, if I put my mind to it, um, I could finish this in about two or three months. So it's it's not it's not sitting on my mind, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's been in my collection. Do you know what I mean? So I think I could keep that one. Um, the two Beauty Bay ones. These are these are the <laughs> these are hard. Right, source. I think I can definitely declutter source. It's not my favourite red. It's too bright. Lover. Oh. Lover. Right, so, so far I have decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six six of my red lip products that's great so far i'm keeping three um a liquid lip a lip gloss and a lipstick so technically i'm kind of covered with all the formulas 
So we have these two left. I've got to say, um, the NYX Smooth Whip formula. I think I would like to try this formula. I do have a couple more um, in this formula though. Where are they? Um, so I actually have um, the shade Teddy Fluff in this formula, which I think I will definitely use. This one in Kitty Belly. Is that a red? Would you say that was a red? No. Um, so I have Kitty Belly in that formula as well, which is kind of like a an orangey sort of shade. So uh, where's, where's my thing? That's not up for discussion. And then I have this deep one in um, Fuzzy Slippers, and this is like a deep colour. So I have three others in the Smooth Whip formula that are more colours that I'm more likely to wear so I can get rid of the red one I think I can definitely get rid of the red one because I do have three other colours in that formula um, that I would definitely wear over the red one even though the red shade in that formula does look a really nice colour it does look like the type of red it's a bright red yes but it's a kind of bright red that I would wear if I was to wear one. Lover from Beauty Bay. <sighs> Do you know what? My MAC Ruby Woo is getting old. It is getting old. I've had it since 2016, 2017 and it still smells nice. Still smells like vanilla. So it's nowhere near gone bad. Um, Should I keep two full size red lipsticks? I mean, there's the two colours there. Side by side, Ruby Woo is definitely a brighter red. Lover is definitely a darker red. I think if I got rid of Lover, I would really miss it. I would. Um, I'm going to keep Lover. I know I probably shouldn't. And you're probably howling at the screen going, Nicola, get rid of it. Um, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be keeping four. One liquid lip, one lip gloss, two lipsticks. And I think I could finish the lip gloss fairly easily. So then I'll be left with just the three red lip products. And I'm getting rid of one two, three, four, five, six, seven red lip products. So keeping four, getting rid of seven, plus the two lip samples as well. I think, I think I can do that. I think, I think that's much more of a reasonable red lipstick collection than, than what I started with. So that is it. That that's I, I think I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There's nothing here that I'm actually going to miss once I unhaul them and and, and declutter them. And I think that I would I'm happy with the four products that I've kept. Um even though I know it's way more than I need in my collection because of how infrequently I wear red lip. So I think I'm good. I think I'm good. So let me pose this question to you. What colour lipstick do you very rarely wear and how many of that colour lipstick do you own in different formulas in your collection? Let me put this challenge out to you and if you want to do a video on it please tag me in it so I can come and watch your video 
or see your Instagram post or just I don't know tell me in the comment section down below if if you don't have Instagram or a YouTube channel or you're not on a fantastic ladies uh, Facebook group but this isn't a fantastic ladies Facebook um, challenge or anything this is just something I've been thinking of doing myself um, but what color lipstick do you not wear frequently enough to justify the amount of lip products that you have in that color mine is red lipstick and at the beginning of this pro of this video i owned one two three four five, 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 11 11 red lip products plus two red lip samples and now i'm down to four four lip products and now i feel so much more at ease i feel good about myself this isn't about feeling guilty this is about purging your collection and the thing was was these numbers were adding up in my makeup collection and and i knew i was never going to wear them that's the thing i knew i was never going to wear them i'd have to be forced to wear them and then and then the number seven one, even when it was in a project pan, I still didn't wear it. The lippy stick, it's in a project pan. I still haven't worn it. So why, 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 why? Um, so yeah, that is today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. This is going to stay. <laughs>